Expect Jimmy Chara and Moreno to stay wide as much as possible and to provide for Mora, who is in the number nine position. Bogush, he moves to an advanced position with Buongo away. He needs to work off the striker, Gonzalez. And it's important that fella gets on the ball as much as possible. Dusk at Providence Park. Drew Fisher, the referee, gets us underway. The scene of a Supporters Shield success last year for LAFC, a year on. Look forward and on by Mora. The referee's going to play advantage here. And it's Jimmy Chara all the way through where it's played back for the onrushing Felipe Mora by Santi Moreno. And wide of the target it goes. That's McCraw and Mabby Allen there just trying to make life difficult for McCarthy. What a battle. In swinger. Oh, and the keeper didn't get there. It's going to go in. Portland has scored. Maviala has helped it across the line and the Timbers lead at Providence Park. Won a few moments ago and then on this corner kick he comes to punch and gets nowhere near it. As Maviala is there to provide the final touch. Now is there a foul on Ilya Sanchez? There's a right arm for Maviala but for me that's not enough to blow up for a foul. There's an arm, and is that considered a push? Oh, that's, that's tough. I think Sanchez needs to be stronger as the big center back for the Timbers provides that vital final touch. They come from a calm voice, and that's certainly what he's exerted since coming to MLS. Bogush, good turn and run, and brings in Palacios. Numbers in the middle now for LAFC. He'll come back to Palacios. Bogush onto his right foot, looks for the curler, and puts it wide. Another ACL for this group. But David Ashal is already out. Now then, here comes Moreno. Can they end the first half on a high? It's saved by McCarthy. Beaten away. And LA keep the deficit at one. And three of LA's next four, including tonight, on the road for LA. So, is there home field advantage? Free kick then from Evander on the right-hand side. And Maviala's there again! And he didn't quite get enough on it. Bruce Arena has resigned as New England Revolution head coach and sporting director. He announced the news on Saturday night in a joint statement with the New England Revolution. Here's Vela whipping the cross in dangerously. Bogus was the man arriving. Read by Palencia, no... Timbers player in the vicinity but that's intercepted by Bravo the Timbers can come again now and a touch by Evanda this is great football and it's come all the way through for a brilliant finish by Claudio Bravo and Portland do have their second just trying to overplay trying to thread the ball in tight areas there's the Timbers they show LFC how to do it Ball into Moreno, it's a lovely flick on, and left back Bravo joining in. There's one touch, the understanding, the movement. It's so slick, it's so quick. And that's ruthless from Bravo. Jimmy Chara. And now it's going to be with Moreno. And it's saved by McCarthy. A big save. And eventually the referee is stopping play and pulling it all back. It's the foul there. I thought it was Moreno initially. I think it's Jimmy Charo pulls down Ilya Sanchez. And when I was chatting to him before the game, I talked to him about the, the importance of staying in that top four home field advantage. The start of the players. This is a, a shot from distance from Palacio straight at Bingham. Looking ever more threatening in those transitional moments of the game. But Vela now setting this one up. Palacios there with him. Bogus to shoot. And Bingham makes the save away to his left. Just deals so nicely. When the ball goes out wide, and LAFC on the other end of it, Bogus, good solid strike. That was a meaty challenge from Maviala. Needed to be. Crowd Steph. Bogus and Vela wide. Facing up now to Jimmy Chara coming at them again. This is Evander, and he skips away from Mario. Ivanda still going towards the byline, all the way back, and then in the end, it's turned behind. Just expressing himself, shows it, takes it away, and then goes again. That's Maria recover, and it takes him to the end, end line. 
Drastev trying to play a 1-2 with Vela, that's broken up and cleared, and away go the Timbers, and it's Sebastian Blanco, he's got two players racing towards the middle, and it's Bully, it's a great save from McCarthy to tip it behind for the corner. When your track is run, the Timbers, and they win the ball back, half clearance, half great ball from McGraw into the path of Blanco, just watch Bully though. Gets into the area, realizes that there's too many bodies around, and he just stands still. Allows Sanchez to continue running towards the goal, and Blanco, he squares it back. Bully, he opens his foot. A crucial parry away, which keeps LA in this game. But they're facing up to another Portland corner. Evander, high delivery, all the way in, and McGraw was underneath it, and that's a, a more comfortable catch for McCarthy. And Paredes allows Ilié to... Move LA out to the right, this is Tillman. Just hasn't been enough penetration in the final third, but they do here win a free kick. They're challenged by Paredes, it's right on the edge of the box. Poised for any rebound opportunity. Vela who scored from this range last season, and it's just over the top from Carlos Vela. Just looking to lift it over into that corner for a second. There's still a chance for LA to do something. Bella fed by Ordaz. Bogus to hit it. Over the top it goes. The 95 minutes, a look at the watch from Drew Fisher. Evander drives forward for Portland. And with that, the full time whistle goes. Portland's playoff push is alive. Miles Joseph's side.